hard-hitting question to start off. Sure. Candy corn, is it good? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't like candy corn? Is it the best Halloween candy? No. Snickers. What? Snickers. Okay, if Coach Cristobal was dressing up for Halloween, what would his costume be? Mario. Like Mario and Luigi? Yeah, Mario and Luigi. Why is that? I don't know, because he's... You know, he's Hispanic, so I guess it, it kind of works together. I mean, I know, I mean, Mario and Luigi's Italian, but, you know, it, it kind of works together. <laughs> <laughs> and what if you can speak to Justin Herbert? And he, you know, he's led fourth quarter comebacks the last two weeks. Just could you describe, you know, what, what his demeanor's like, what his presence like? As somebody who didn't know him before this year, what are your impressions of how he's handled himself in those situations? Um, the way he handled the game is kind of how I met him. Uh, he's kind of like a straightforward guy, um, right down to the point. I mean, I, he's. He's one of those guys you want to have on your team. Um, going into that fourth, well, going into that last drive, he was kind of like, "All right, boys, let's go in the game." And that's how he is. He's just ready to go get after it. Didn't have any indecision or indecisiveness. He just went out there and did it. John, I'm sure there was a point this year where you're pretty frustrated, just trying to get back in there. How did you kind of stay mentally in it through this? Uh, teammates, family, girlfriend, and God. That's really what it is. I mean, I can say those four uh, repeatedly for anything. But I think mentally, I mean. Most, for, for the most part, I think it's more mental than anything. Uh, I can't do anything uh, physically, but mentally you can help those younger guys and help even the older guys to get their mind right for the game because you know there are bigger games like Auburn and, and other games like Stanford where those are pretty big games and I couldn't be out there, but I could definitely use a couple words that I can help them out. Do you feel the magnitude of those moments like in those fourth quarter drives of knowing just what exactly is on the table or do you try to kind of compartmentalize that in your head? Uh, I just, I just have to go out there and do my job, I feel like. I know it's simple, but that's what you have to do. If you try to get out of, out of whack or get out of shape, I feel like you're going to mess everybody up, all the other 10 guys. So doing my job is the main part, and then when I do my job, everybody else does their job. Was a moment like what happened this past weekend, what you kind of envisioned when you first signed on to come here? Uh, not really, not, not something that quick. Um, <laughs> but, nah, but it, it, was, it was definitely a moment that uh, I had, and it was definitely great for uh, me and my teammates. And, I, and I'm glad we pulled out that win and on to uh, USC. Jalen Red said you did a great you. job of, um, of snatching that ball out of the air. I thought you, you really showed off your hands uh, on Saturday. Talk about how hard you work on your hands and, and making those things better every day. Uh, you, well, you see me in there for a long for a long time, but it's, it's just really just getting repetition. Um, I, I know it's like for my hands, but for the most part, it's really my eyes and my brain. Uh, just having that confidence, knowing that you can get anything, is really what you need to have. You know, you can have all the hands in the world, but if you don't have confidence, you can't get it. Jalen Red said you had a little bit more confidence, a little more pep in your step at practice today. Yeah. Do you feel like you're hitting your stride? I do, I feel like. I mean, uh, just me getting, you know, my legs back under me and really just gaining that confidence, like you said before, um, that's kind of something I didn't have, you know, going into the Cal Week or before because, I mean, let's be honest, I haven't ran like a month beforehand. So uh, just really getting my legs back, getting confidence, uh, getting the routes down, getting the timing down with uh, the QB, and that's really what it is, you know, getting my blocks right with the linemen. So that, that's really what it is, just getting back, getting back to the groove of it. How hard was that month where you weren't able to play? And, and it seemed oh, like it each was, week you thought we thought you could play. Was it yeah. close every week, or what was that? Like? Uh, it was close. It was pending, but it was definitely tough, as as you could imagine. That's just like you guys, you know, being away from your jobs, right? But uh, no, nah, but it was it was really tough. Um, just sitting out, knowing, knowing my guys were playing, they were having a good time. But I feel like I wasn't, you know, having a good time with them as, as much as I would want to. So it was definitely tough. But I'm glad I'm out here now. Have you had another nagging injury like that in your career you can think of? And, or, Kind of yeah, you, relate, you could relate to this. Yeah, it was last year at Penn State. I, mean, I, I missed uh, three or four games with an ankle injury, so it was kind of like the same thing. Um, I feel like it was just God putting something in my life that I can be like, all right, well, you've been through this before. Well, let's do it again. And that's kind of how I had a different uh, approach this time. You said you kind of grew up a Duck fan. We were watching Oregon as you were growing up, and now you get to go down and play USC in a yeah. huge matchup. Is this something that you kind of circled on your schedule when you became a Duck? Do you realize the importance of this game? Uh, not really circled, but um. I mean, USC is a, it's a great program, great tradition, great program. Uh, I played him before when I was at Penn State, so, I mean, we have some history a little bit. A uh, little sour taste in my mouth from the last time we played him. But, um, honestly, we got to treat like another game. We try to hyping up the game or try to dumb down the game. You know, we're, we're going to get beat like that. So we have to come into uh, the game like we do every week and, and, and win, pull it out.